morning. Hey y'all, it's Brianna Lynn and today I'm going to be doing something super exciting. I'm going to be trying out the heatless curl method using straws. So, if you'd like to see how this turns out, stay tuned. Let's go. Welcome to my channel where you will find lifestyle, DIY, and beauty. Please be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it, share it with a friend, and also, if you are not subscribed yet, what are you doing? Be my bestie, subscribe down below, let's get to know one another. So, for today's video, what I'm going to be using is, of course, our handy dandy straws. I have some rubber bands in here. I know it says bobby pins, but don't mind that. I have uh, my brush, my comb. Well, that's kind of dirty. Thought I cleaned it before this video. Oh well, that's real life. And I have some coconut oil and some regular oil. This is essential oil, so I'm guessing it's something sort of like coconut oil. So. We're using those, and I have a water bottle full of water. So uh, let's go ahead and get this hair down and get started. So my hair has a little bit of like hairspray in it and gel because I wore it up yesterday, but don't mind that. We're just gonna comb it out and ignore it. I'm gonna go ahead and section it off. I'm gonna do down the middle all the way to the back. Yeah, my line in the back is probably gonna be all kinds of like crooked, but that's okay because we're actually gonna be sleeping in it. So that's why I wanted to do it right now because it is actually nine o'clock at night. So I'm doing it right before I go to bed. All right, so my hair is down and I'm gonna finish sectioning it. I'm gonna do it in fours. So I'm just gonna do this, find my ear, go down to my ear. This is going to be one section and just clip that away. This whole section, we're probably gonna do, I'm gonna do this one first. So let me just go ahead and do this side. Wow, okay. Let me get a clip. Try to make it as neat as possible. And then this other side, I am going to use a little scrunchie and put this tightly in place so that it's out of the way. And this is the side we're gonna do first. I'm gonna start at the bottom because that's always easier for me. And I have another the banana clip, so we're gonna put this hair away on the top. So to do this, I'm gonna go ahead and wet it, just damping it a little bit. And I'm gonna use a little bit of the coconut oil first. I got this from a beauty supply store. Probably even find it at Walmart. It was only like, I wanna say a dollar. I'm gonna put a little bit when I take it out yet tomorrow. It looks nice and shiny and cute. So let's go ahead and open our handy dandy straws. This is a count of 100. I got it at Walmart. I believe it was like a dollar or two dollars, but you can also get these at the dollar store. These are the stretchy ones, the little scrunchy ones. I'm going to take this and I'm just going to wrap my hair around the straw. I'm not doing it like neatly or anything. I'm just wrapping it all around. Then I'm going to scrunch it together. And here on the ends, I'm going to go ahead and bend it so that it holds the hair in place. I'm going to wrap it all the way to the end, to my roots. And then I'm going to bend that. So now I have something that looks like this. The straw is pretty much like bent in half both ways. So top and bottom, hair is in the middle. And I'm going to secure it on the end with a rubber band. So there we have it. That's one. So we're going to go ahead and do the whole head. I'm going to show you guys one more time and then I'm going to speed up the video. So I'm just taking section by section. I'm pretty sure this section right here is not even, but that's honestly okay because remember we're taking these out. We're not going to be walking around with straws in our hair. I mean, you can if you want, girl, I ain't judging you, but I'm not. So, same method. Wet it a little bit. I can probably even put this in two. That way the curls are tighter. A little bit of the coconut oil. All right, so I already put the water and coconut oil on this one. I'm going to take a, another straw, and I'm just going to be wrapping it around all the way. And if it's getting too close to the bottom, I'm just going to go ahead and move it up a little bit. 
That way it's higher on the straw so that I have some space to finish it on the bottom. Now that the majority of my hair is on the straw, I'm going to bend the bottom. And then I'm gonna continue rolling it so that this part here is also curled. So I'm gonna roll it to the root. And now it's completely on my root. I'm going to bend the top, marry them. We have married them now, and now it's time to seal the deal and put that rubber band on. Now we have three, and the whole head to go. Yay! So my boyfriend just told me that dinner is ready. I'm gonna go have dinner, I'll be back, and then I'm going to finish this up. Okay, so hang tight. All right, y'all, I'm back. It's 9.42, so I'm gonna go ahead and start finishing up this hair. So I'm gonna go ahead and speed up the rest of the video now. Wow, this is gonna take a while. My arms hurt already. You get a hairstyle and you're working out and exercising those arms, girl. It's a win-win. So now that my hair is getting, I'm getting to the point where it's like thicker in the middle section, I'm having to secure a band at the bottom and then roll it to my roots and then put a rubber band on the top. I am starting to sweat. Half of our hair done. I'm sweating. What you thinking so far? Cute? So let's go ahead and do this other side. How long did it take me to do that side? It's 10, 12, and I started at 9.42. Around 30 something minutes to do this side. All right, so it's 10, 12. Let's go ahead and start on this side and see how long it takes us to do the whole thing in one sitting. Ow, that hurt. Where are the straws? Where are the straws? finished the time is 11 o'clock so it took me just about 40 45 minutes to do this other half so let's say 40 minutes per side I guess I'm exhausted now my arms are killing me and not only from this but from my exercises and I know tomorrow my arms are gonna be feeling like they want to fall off so that shall be fun. We have finished the whole head, but it looks like. In order to help me sleep and to keep everything like sucked in, I'm gonna be using my boyfriend's do-rag and I don't have a headscarf. So it's either this or a shower cap and I figure this is a little more comfortable and a less noisy than a shower cap. So I'm gonna put this on. And no, it's not the proper way to put it on, but um, that's how I'm gonna use it. So don't come for me. I'm just gonna try to get all these little bits and pieces inside. Oh, why did he do this? How the heck am I supposed to get this out? Ha, that was easy. All right, so I'm just going to wrap it around and secure it. You know, like you would a do-rag. It's just we're using this for a different purpose and that's okay. So for the most part, they're in. I'm just going to, the little end piece here on the back, I'm gonna tuck it in so that the straws on the bottom are secure. Um, so I would say this is as good as it is. Ow. Yeah, this is as good as it's gonna get. Ooh, I am you ooh. Mm. Girl, they're gonna make me cut my hair and go bald. Give me a little taper fade, a little Caesar. Mm. Cutesy. Okay, it's 11.05 at night. I need to go to bed because I need to get up and work out tomorrow. I still have stuff I need to do for work. So you guys, I will see you tomorrow and we shall do the grand unveiling of this lovely hair. All right, see y'all tomorrow. The next morning. Hi, 
Good morning. Welcome to this beautiful day. So I am back. I put this on for work because I did not want to be looking crazy with the do-rag and straws coming out and just looking a hot mess for work because, you know, it's work. We want to be professional. So I put my cute little scarf on and I love it. I'm definitely going to have to start wearing these more because I think they're so cute. All right, so let's go ahead and get into it. Let's take our hair down, play with it, see what it looks like, and see if it was worthwhile. Just put that over there. This is what I woke up looking like. And I will say that sleeping with this do-rag or having something on your head, like a scarf to hold it all in, was actually pretty good. And it wasn't so uncomfortable. I thought it was going to like be to the point where I can't stand and I'm going to take them out during the night. But it wasn't so bad. The straws lay flat on my hair so I was able to like sleep like this or like this I was even able to lay on the back to like sleep on my back so it was actually not that bad oh I feel so much better I guess I wrapped it like really tight geez that feels good though all right so and they feel dry, so let's go ahead and take them out. I had to get some lotion for my elbows. Can't have those be ashy. All right, so I'm gonna start here in the back, and we're just gonna start taking off our rubber bands. This is going to be interesting. Okay, I'm here for it. Wow, shrinkage is real. I didn't actually think this was going to work because I told you my hair sucks at holding any type of anything because it's so fine and so straight and it's pretty thin. As you can tell, I look bald now. Just slide them off. They are sliding off pretty easy, so I do like that. That makes it easier to take them off. All right, so one side is completely out. And of course, I'm not wearing it like this. I'm going to separate them, jizz it up, and then we should be good to go. Okay, so this is how it looks. All of them are out. Now we go in and I'm gonna be doing the fun part. We're gonna be separating them all. But so far, like it. So before I begin, drink some coffee. Iced coffee, of course. Start from the front. So I'm just gonna be taking it and pulling them apart. So this is gonna help make it a lot fuller. The coconut oil makes it feel so soft and sleek. So I'm really happy I put that in. Literally the simplest thing, just taking them all apart. Some of them are knotted at the ends, but I think that's because when I put the rubber band on, I kind of did it wild, so. I feel like going one by one kind of gives it a little more definition so the curls aren't lost too much. Curl? Ah. Who am I? All right, so I'm getting to the back. Now I'm just gonna be feeling around for any really thick pieces because I can't see. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead. I'll come back and fluff it up. I'm gonna go ahead and do this side. This is gonna make me go get a perm. Might just have to. All right, so for the most part, I got every little section. I'm sure there's still some in there. Let me go get my boyfriend's pick, and I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Got the pick. Change the shirt or put clothes on, shall I say. You cannot do curly hair without bamboo earrings. All right, so I'm going to turn around, look at the back. I'm going to be using my mirror, so it may seem a little weird, but I, don't, I can't see back there. So I want to make sure it looks good. So all I'm doing with the pick is I'm going in at the root and just fluffing it up a little bit. Hi guys! Hi! 
I'm not pulling the comb all the way through. I'm just doing it at the root and then taking it out. If you pull it all the way through, you're gonna ruin the curls. The back looks good, so I'm just gonna tease it a little bit in the front. Again, I'm just sticking it at the root and pulling and releasing. So what this is doing, it's releasing the curl at the root so it's not so tight and the curls fall a little longer and it gives it some volume because you know we love volume everything is bigger in texas and that's the way i like it i still have rubber bands coming out of my hair <laughs> all right so actually i'm gonna take these off really quick and do this part here you see how much fuller it looks so i'm gonna try to eliminate this section here because i don't want it to i want it to look like natural like girl I woke up like this and you want my hair. So I'm gonna take my rat tail comb and we're just gonna tease it a bit. I'm gonna divide it, make a little section, gently pull away the hair and we're gonna tease it. Don't make fun of my ghetto brush. Okay, it was falling apart and I love this brush. So I put it back together with some zippies. See that? We're just teasing. And that is that, it helps the hair fluff it out even more. So I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side. Now, I don't want it to look crazy. I'm just gonna smooth it out a little bit at the roots. All right, let's put our earrings back on because we cute. What I'm gonna do next is actually go in and fix my edges here. I'm just gonna go and lay them back. That way they're, you know, laid down. Taking my got to be glued, taking a little dab of that. My edge brush. Girl, back in the day, we used to, I used to use toothbrushes. Toothbrushes are still good. I had one, but I think I had to throw it away because it was old and rugged, so I had to get rid of that. And I need to get a new one because the brushes, the brushes, the bristles on this are pretty like thick versus like a toothbrush. They're a little bit thinner and easier to work with. Sometimes this brush head can be a little too thick. You know, we don't want it thick all the time. So I just go in, I put a little bit of glue. You can't really see them, but you know, if the wind blows and it goes, whew, then at least I know my edges are laid. Let's do the other side. And the reason I like this got to be glue gel is because it actually has the hair laid down very nicely and it's like stuck to my head. So even if I sweat, girl, this glue stays down. A lot of people use it for their wigs. I need to buy a wig. I've really been wanting one. Really good ones are like 700 and up. I'm gonna have to settle for synthetic for now. And you see how it's a little white? So whenever that happens, that's probably because it's mixing with my makeup, I just take a little bit of water. I just wet it a little bit and dab it on like that and it'll make it go away. See the end result? So cute. Yeah, I think in my past life, I had curly hair because what? Hmm. I'm really thinking about getting a perm now. Uh, who, me? Now that I'm like... I did it to myself. I can see why people with curly hair are like, don't touch my hair. I totally get that now because the more you play with it, the frizzier it gets and the bigger it gets. So, and the taint, and it gets tang tingly, tingler, <laughs> and it gets tangly. So I am so sorry for all my curly headed friends, your hair that I've touched when it's curly. I just can't help it, I like it. And I promise I won't touch your hair again unless you give me permission. So safe to say, love it. I'm actually gonna call one of my friends and see what she thinks. Buddy, I did something for a video and I need to know if it looks cute or not, okay? Rihanna, how you did that? Am I cute or not? Yes! I should, I should have curly hair, right? Oh my God, did you, is that your real hair? Yeah! Put to my hair! <laughs> So cute. It's so natural. Now I want it. You guys look at my hair. I'm gonna do it. All right, I'm back. <laughs> I'm excited to see how it holds up today. It's super humid and hot outside. It's gonna be 91. I have some errands to run. I'll definitely hop on here later tonight and show you guys what it looks like if it still looks like this. So this is my first time doing it. So let's go ahead and play with it. Let's see what it looks like after wear test. Let's see. 
later that night. I am back. It is 8.30 on the dot. It's definitely been about seven and a half hours. And this is the result so far. We have a little bit of frizz. Let me remind you, it was hot as heck today. It was super humid. And um, we were driving with the windows down. The wind kind of took over and did its own thing. But overall, I still think it looks good. I could probably get away with wearing it down one more time, maybe one more day, and then the rest of the days put it back up. Definitely do think that it's worth it. Like, I really am loving these vibes that it's giving me. I will say that I have some pieces of hair that have started to go straight again. Well, not straight, but they're like real loose now. You see it in the back? The curls at my nape area on the bottom have dropped a lot. And that is also because I was sweating because it was hot as heck. I'm telling you, it was so hot. And then having to wear the mask. <sighs> I think it still looks cute. If you also use straws and recreate this look, try this hack, tag me on Instagram. I want to see how you came out, girl. Show me some love. Be sure to subscribe for more content by hitting that button down below. Give this video a thumbs up. And as always, if you truly enjoy it, please share with a friend. I'll see you guys on my next one on Wednesday.